Hey guys, I'm right now in Quito and I'm taking Spanish lessons and I asked the director of the school if he knows some industry here. And this director, he has a friend, a taxi driver, he knows a machinist here. And we are going now to this machinist to see what he's doing. Quito is located in a canyon of the Andean mountains. The city is very long and is divided in two parts. The north, which is more expensive, where all the international companies are producing, and the south, which is cheaper. We are heading for the south to visit a small company. The company actually has no name. The signs just say Torno, Leif and Prensa, hydraulic press. He has a few standard machines, like a hydraulic press, 12 tons, two lathes, a big one and a small one from China, and also a drill press and a saw. The guy with the cap is the owner. He's now 28 years old. He's running the shop for 10 years. His wife handles the office. Here you can see his Chinese lathe. He paid, I think, $2,000 for it. It's one of these lathes you can find on Alibaba. The lathe is called Magnum Cut. In this video you can see how he repairs a car starter with some worn brass bearings. The brass bearing sleeves are badly worn. Usually, you would just replace them. What he does now is, he uses the stick welder to increase the diameter of the rotor. After he welds the rotor, he will turn it. He reduces the diameter until it fits into the worn out brass bearings. <laughs> For turning, he uses high-speed steel. Now the diameter fits nearly into the brass sleeve. He uses sandpaper to make a better surface. <laughs> now the shaft is fitting into the bearing. I think what he is doing now is some kind of honing. Now he will repeat the process with the other sections of the motor. I asked him how much he gets for repairing a motor. He said normally $30. This time, the customer doesn't have a lot of money, so he just gets $15 for repairing the motor. If you would buy this motor new, it would cost $890. He told me to be a machinist, you need to study six years in Ecuador. Studying is free, but you have to pay the material you need. Studying in Ecuador is 60% of practical work. The other 40% are math and reading and making drawings. If you are hired as a machinist in Ecuador, you earn four to $500 each month. If you are self-employed, he says you can earn up to $5,000. But I'm not sure if I should believe that. You have to repair a lot of motors if you just get $30 for one motor.
Thanks guys for watching my video. At the end of this year I will go to China. I will make a video about the stamping tool manufacturer. And I will also make a video about the Chinese tool market. If you like to see it, give me a subscription. And if you liked my video, thumbs up.